All right, we're looking at a worksheet here as part of our six plus one traits of writing. And we're looking at the trait called organization, in which we can say that organization has a lot to do with how a story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. We can see we've got three little sections here set up for writing lines, and it says beginning, middle, end. And it says choose a story. So we can pick something from our own imagination, our own thoughts. And it says fill in the story map. That's what we call this three areas, these three rectangles. It's a story map. Write what happens in the beginning, middle, and end. When it comes to writing, it's always best to choose something that you know about. So it makes it easier for writing. I'm going to choose a simple subject like building a sandwich, making a sandwich. All right. So in making a sandwich, we can say in the beginning, we can say start with two pieces of bread. All right, I like the word start. That's a good word to use when you're really describing a beginning. Start with two pieces of bread. That's the first thing you do to make a sandwich. Then we can say, put lettuce, tomato, cheese, and ham on the bread. Now I'm talking about what to put literally in the middle of the sandwich, eh? That makes a good middle of the story. I chose the words put lettuce, tomato, cheese, and ham on the bread. Obviously a lettuce, tomato, cheese, and ham sandwich, but you could have chosen put jam and peanut butter in the middle of the bread. Or you could have chosen something else. All right, the end of the story. How do I finish building my sandwich? Well, let's say we would uh, put both pieces of bread together. So we have our two separate pieces of bread. I'm going to put them together, one on top of the other. Top of the other. We could even write that. One on top of the other. If we just want to clarify that, make that more specific. So my ending, put both pieces of bread together, one on top of the other. All right, I have my beginning, how I begin to make a sandwich, my middle of my story, what I put in the middle of the sandwich, and my end of the story, how I finish off that sandwich. It's kind of neat that the beginning, middle, and end really has to do not just with a story's beginning and a story middle and a story end, but really what comes in the sandwich. So here's my story. Start with two pieces of bread. Put lettuce, tomato, cheese, and ham on the bread. Put both pieces of bread together, one on top of the other. Your story doesn't have to be about building a sandwich. It can be about anything you want. The idea is that you have to have a beginning to the story, a middle to the story, and an ending to the story. I could even put one more line here at the end, which would be, eat a sandwich. Really brings that sandwich to an end as well as the story. Okay, right at the bottom of our work page, it says convention. Use a capital I to tell about yourself. So finish the sentence and write a capital I. The word I, right, to describe yourself, is always done as a capital, whether it's at the beginning of the sentence or the middle of the sentence or the end of the sentence. So here we have it coming in the middle. Ruby and I, and we're going to make that a capital I. Ruby and I love books, capital I, for the conventions.